Welcome to Edu Arts. Today in this video, we are going to explain you about master plan. So what is master plan? A master plan is a long term perspective plan for guiding the sustainable plan development of the city. This document lay down the planning guidelines, policies, development code and space requirement for various socio-economic activities supporting the city's population during the planning period. It is also the basis for all infrastructure requirements. Master plan requirements to, to present a comprehensive long range development, to provide an orderly, professional and aesthetic development plan and to enable to proceed directly into preparation of schematic design documents for each phase of developments. The elements of master plan. It comprised of goals and policies, land use, housing, economic development, natural resources, open space and recreation, services and facilities, transport and circulation. The objectives of master plan. Assessment of the existing situation with regards to demographic and economic growth, infrastructure services, municipal finances, etc. Identification of gaps in service delivery including the issues faced by the urban poor. Vision and goal formulation for each sector to enable achieve the objectives enunciated above. Formulation of a city investment plan with appropriate financing strategies for the identified interventions. Contents of master plan. It's, it starts with introduction of the region, demography, economy, land use and structure pattern and infrastructure pattern comprised of water supply, sewage and electricity and deals with environment and disaster management, traffic and transportation plans, urban basic services for the poor, slum rehabilitation schemes, housing etc. and social facilities, financial patterns, visions and goals and investment plans. Chennai Master Plan This map shows where Chennai is located for the viewers to understand further. Before getting into that, a short brief on Chennai. Chennai, the fourth largest metropolis in India, earlier it was called Madras. The Chennai Metropolitan Area CMA extends over 1189 square kilometer and now it has been extended to 8878 square kilometer. It comprised of Chennai Corporation, 16 municipalities, 20 town panchayat and 2 and 4 villages covered in 10 panchayat union. It encompasses the Chennai district of 176 square kilometer and part of Thiruvallur district of 637 square kilometer and part of Kanjivaram district 376 square kilometers. Development planning in a Chennai metropolitan area. The major plans that had been prepared for Chennai Chen General Town Planning Scheme 1957 prepared by Madras Corporation, the Madras Interim Plan prepared by DTP Government of Tamil Nadu, Madras Metropolitan Plan 1971 prepared by Multi-Agency Group and published by Government of Tamil Nadu, Madras Urban Development Project 1974 prepared by MMDA, now it is CMDA, Master Plan for MMA 1975 prepared by MMDA, Structural Plan for Chennai Metropolitan Area 1980 prepared by CMDA with Alan Turner and Associates as consultants. Second Master Plan 2026 Proposed in September 2008 Implementation is enforced through development regulations and zoning that monitors and controls the development in the city. This map shows the development of Chennai starting from 1633 to 1971. The map shows rapid growth of urbanization with a built up area, water bodies and transport corridors. And this map indicates how Chennai is urbanized as a faster pace. The color code legends were mentioned for understandings. And in this map shows road network marking the boundaries of CMA, city, taluk and village boundaries along with railway lines and other major road networks. Waterways and water bodies map with the respective boundaries. This map shows the coastal regulation zone marked as CRZ1, CRZ2 and CRZ3. Map showing the parks in Chennai according to the watch, the color codes are grounded based on the number of parks.
There are various divisions of map used for the convenience. For revenue department, they are using a district map. And for the classification of zones, they are grouped in as North Chennai, South Chennai and Central Chennai. For civic divisions, they were classified Chennai map as under 10 divisions. Interactive enhanced satellite map for Chennai, providing you with a color coded visuals for green cover. The highlights of second master plan CMA. The second master plan for CMA 2026 has brought out development regulations for all developments within CMA, which is a positive sign to attract development in the slow and medium growth settlement because of the provisions such as permitting multi-storied buildings in the rest of CMA, also excluding the island grounds, approved layout areas, aquifer recharge area and red hills catchment area, permitting IT buildings and bioinformatics centers in mixed residential, commercial, institutional zones, defining IT corridors and bioinformatics centers in mixed residential, commercial, institutional use zones. Treating buildings with maximum 6 dwelling units under ordinary building category as against the earlier limit of 4 dwelling units and accommodating working women's hostel and old age homes in the primary residential area. Proposing of transfer of development of rights in case of road widening, providing for restricted development in aquifer recharge area, reducing the plot extent or site setback requirements. Further. Allowing multi-storied buildings along 12 meter and 50 meter wide roads with the limitations on FSI and height. Reservation of 10% of land for EWS and LIG with the dwelling sizes not exceeding 45 square meters. In case of special buildings, group developments and multi-storey buildings on land of extent exceeding 1 hectare either within the site proposed for the development or in a location within a radius of 2 km for a site under references. Allowing additional FSI of 0.25 in case of special buildings and group developments and dwelling units not exceeding 45 square meter floor areas. Further there are projects in store for the immediate futures such as elevated expressway, extension of corporation limit by including 8 municipalities, 8 town panchayat and 25 village panchayat in CMA truck terminals at Karnankara Cheri and Annambed villages near Trinindravur along outer ring road, sea water desalination plant and extension of jurisdiction of Chennai Metropolitan Water Supply and Sewerage Board for providing water supply and sewerage facilities in village outside the city limits. And about the land use analysis, land use regulations under master plan for CMA is 1975. The land use plan was enforced through a set of regulations under development control rules which formed a part of master plan. Any person intended to make any development is required to apply under Tamil Nadu Town and Country Planning Act 1971 and obtaining the planning permissions. The objectives for land use planning number one is to analyze the existing land use pattern and to estimate the future land requirements and identify alternatives for land uses to select and adopt the best land use options available, to allocate land uses to meet the economic and social needs of people while safeguarding future resources. The following use zones have been classified broadly into 9 categories of land uses namely residential, commercial, industrial, institutional, public and semi-public, public transportations, agriculture open spaces and vacant lands. Zoning of land parcels. The idea of zoning is segregation of certain land uses from others reduce the effect of negative externalities like zoning away residential from hazardous industrial zones. Land use zoning provides spatial segregation of conflicting uses. Second master plan proposed land uses legends as primary residential, mixed residential, commercial, institutional, industrial, special and hazardous industrial, open space and recreational, urbanizable and non-urbanizable, water bodies, agriculture, reserve forest areas, red hills catchment area, CRZ lines as CRZ1, CRZ2 and CRZ3, continuous building area, EWS area, economically weaker section areas, IT corridor, green belt along the national highway road for the bypasses, an aquifer recharge area, Natham area, 
restricted development zones these are the classifications of different classifications of land uses spatial strategy the objectives of the land use plan are to provide it for optimum utilization of land by channelizing the developments considering the latest policies and programs of the government the future needs for the metropolitan area by recognizing the existing growth trends and by suitable allocation of land uses and strengthening the infrastructure facilities preservation and conservation of ecologically sensitive areas in chennai metropolitan areas wide scope for employment generation and economic development efficient transportation networks integrating the land use patterns for balanced developments in context of rapid urbanization planning deserves utmost importance on par with the city area for the socio economic benefits master plan should be balanced growth in terms of population density planning for provision of adequate infrastructure facilities strengthening the institutional mechanisms monitoring and enforcing regulatory measures planning for inbuilt mid course corrective measures futuristic planning for adjacent area outside the metropolitan area needs emphasis in this video we have so far outlined you about master plan and its purposes and explaining you chennai's second master plan with different types of maps and in short about the highlights of second master plan finally a view on land use maps and its uses thank you